potato, 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 potato. I mean, I could keep going forever. <laughs> I don't think you want me to. <laughs> potato salad is about to get really crispy and really exciting. Molly A, who I think we all know and love for her Food Network show, Girl Meets Farm, her cookbook, Molly on the Range, her blog, My Name is Ye, is really great at finding fun recipes for parties. And this is definitely no exception. Don't get me wrong, I love just kind of a plain mayo-y soft potato salad. My grandmother's was just like a bunch of mayo, mustard, pickles, not much else. Molly takes the whole potato salad idea and just kind of like tweaks and fiddles until it's got a lot more exciting stuff going on. One really smart thing about what Molly does here is that she boils the potatoes in nicely salted water before she roasts them and that both seasons them all the way through and it brings some of their starches to the surface so that they'll crisp really nicely in the oven. Do you have any secrets for dumping in things and not splashing yourself with boiling water? Oh yeah, 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 distance, distance, okay. If any of you have tips for not splashing yourself when you're doing this, please tell me. Those don't boil for very long because you don't want them to get to the point where they're gonna fall apart as you toss them on the baking sheet. Just like five, six minutes, check them to see if they're just barely starting to get tender. The potatoes, the starch has, just like Molly said, come to the surface, and these are almost tender, but not mushy and falling apart, and in really great shape for roasting. So I love that Molly uses melted butter here. I would never think to roast potatoes in butter because I would think that it would burn, but because the potato kind of soaks up some of that butter and it doesn't pool all over the pan, it doesn't smoke and burn, it's great. Okay, these are ready for the oven. As the potatoes are in the oven, it's the perfect time to bust out this dressing that goes on them. So there's these finely chopped shallots, plain jarred mayo, paprika, a little sugar, super plain white vinegar. I really like can't describe how good this dressing is for how simple the ingredients are. These are not done, but they do need to get tossed partway through. This guy is perfectly like thin, but sturdy. Does a really good job getting under any sticking potatoes. Even though these ones were extraordinarily well behaved. <laughs> so these potatoes are very nice and crispy and I'm actually just realizing that the smaller size of them makes for a lot more crispy surface area than like the big chunks of potatoes that my grandmother would make in her potato salad. Sorry, I could not help myself. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. We let these cool just because if you're gonna make them ahead for a party, the mayo will stay nice and creamy and not like absorb into the potatoes if you start with cooled roasted potatoes. But if you're gonna serve them right away, hot is incredibly delicious. One last little pretty touch is these chives and I get to eat it now. such a happy looking potato salad and it's still super crispy I can feel as I'm stabbing it mm. that dressing is just so full of life it's just amazing how with absolutely no fancy ingredients and just a couple of smart techniques Molly has managed to make this very exciting potato salad for a party or just for you for dinner so if you want more genius recipes for parties, for potatoes, <laughs> other things that start with P, be sure to like this video and subscribe and I will find you more every single week.